What is up, guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. What do we have today? That BBN is one seriously sharp knife, guys. How do you guys... How would you guys sharpen a chisel grind if I ever need to... When I need to sharpen it, just wondering. I mean, it should be easier, I would assume, since it's just one side, but I don't know. And today we have a knife you might have seen last year around this time. Koenig. Koenig. Arius. Oh, made in the USA. So, you know, I had one. I never even got a chance to carry it. There's been lots of people on that video asking me for an, an update. Um, but I had it literally like a week. Didn't even get a chance to put it in pocket yet. And my brother had to have it. So I finally decided Bowler M390. I would have liked to get a 20 CV one. Or Magna Cut, whatever. Hey, I got a sticker this time. But it doesn't matter. Cloth. And my last one, it was cool. It was a Gen 2. This is Gen 4. It has the same milling pattern, but this is the plain titanium, where my other one was like a weird bronze color. Whew. Great action. And I didn't really... I was... Uh, okay to trade it off to my brother because it it's a nice knife and I like it guys and it I was a little always put off kind of by the you know the, the shape of it but honestly it's super comfortable um, it's a really comfortable knife and I'm excited to get one back in the collection and this one will get carried so you can see, I don't know, guys always, you know, I don't really know why they always, this is, can't see there. Man, these new glasses work great. Gen 4, batch 6. I don't know what any of that means. I know it's the fourth generation. Don't know what the batches mean. If you guys know what the different batch numbers mean, comment down below. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice knife. Nice, would I just say nice knife? Nice, it's a nice knife, guys. And it is comfortable. And fidgety and all that good stuff. And American made. So, yeah. I wish there was a choil. You know, that's part of the reason. Because it's got this great ramp here you can... Just want you to choke up on too. So I mean, if there's just a little bit more there, or if this was a little skinnier, that's just me though. I don't think he marks anything else on the blade. Yeah, I didn't really think fancy. Just a plain Jane one. Started looking last weekend after I missed out on a drop. <laughs> maybe you guys are like that. Maybe, maybe not. I missed out on a drop. Oh man, I dinged my, I dinged my knife. Um, and then you're just kind of jonesing because you had, had it set in your mind that you were going to get this knife. And they, I think there was like eight of them. I won't tell you what it is yet. Um, but, uh, so then I was just like, oh man. So then I went Koenig shopping. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm excited to carry it and actually see what the knife is like. Like I said, I just never even, I kind of fiddled with it, watched TV, flicked it around, and then went to my brother's and he, he fell in love with it and had to have it. So I was like, all right, whatever. And I wasn't too sad to see it go, but I am glad to have another one, if that makes sense now. 
I know everybody raves about this knife. Um, so we'll see. I mean, the story's cool. Um, I mentioned this last year in that video, but want to be, I mean, he didn't design the knife, so Bill Koenig doesn't design. He's got what this, the mini goblin, and now the mini Arius, which is, um, I think those are really rare. Um, someone else designed them, can't remember who, but um, he wanted to be a knife maker. And the story's on his website. Go check it out. Him and his dad, kind of a tragic story, but a cool, I mean, so you got to, his hard work and determination, you have to be impressed with that. So definitely go check out the story on his website about him, how he became a knife maker. But uh, yeah, just a quick, quick look, quick unboxing, Koenig Arius. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.